Hey guys, today's video is all about the newest lip product from Fenty. So they just came out with the Gloss Balm Heat. It's a universal lip luminizer and plumper. It's 28 Canadian or 22 US dollars and you get nine mils or 0.3 ounces of product. So it's basically a shimmer-free lip gloss and plumper. It's the same as all the other gloss bombs, the same formula, the same consistency, same packaging, but they've added the plumping aspect. So they say it has innovative plump job complex designed to gently plump your lips. Formula is basically the same as all the other gloss bombs. It's the same consistency, the same comfort level, not sticky, a little bit of hydration, pretty good for a gloss. So the color Hot Cherry is a sheer red. I've got a couple swatches here. The top one is just the thinnest layer and the bottom swatch is built up a little bit. I wouldn't build it up too much on my lips. I find it can get a bit gloopy if you apply too much. So the color is not super buildable. It doesn't claim to be. In the tube, it looks like this bright red. It's very opaque, but once you actually apply it, at least on my lips, it turns into such a sheer red, it's almost pink. It is a nice bright summertime shade for me without being too bright, especially when I'm wearing less makeup, you get that pop of color without the harsh lines of a lipstick. I just wanted to compare it to a few other Fenty gloss bomb shades that I have. I'm not saying that these are all the same shade, I just wanted you to see the different reds that they have in the different formulas. The closest match that I found is Cheeky, so that's from one of the holiday collections. The only, they're basically the same shade, but Cheeky has the golden glitter flex in it and hot cherry no glitter but i find the base color is really similar next i have pink dragonfly which they look really different in the tubes but once you kind of swatch them both pink dragonfly still has the glitter and it's also a bit more pink but they are still similar shades once they've been sheared out and finally fruit snacks now i know fruit snacks is way darker and it's got the more opaque the cream formula but i still wanted to compare them because they're both in the red family fruit snacks is more like my winter shade of red and hot cherry is my summer shade. I also can really appreciate a shimmer free lip gloss, especially when I'm wearing less makeup in the summer. I don't necessarily need nothing and then just glitter, you know? So it's nice and subtle in that way. Once you apply it, a couple seconds in, you get the tingling sensation. And it's definitely a hot tingle, kind of a burning sensation compared to like a cool tingling sensation. And I mean, it is called gloss bomb heat, so that's kind of what you'd expect. It doesn't last very long. I'm always surprised at how quickly the tingling fades away. So it is like a bearable amount of time. It's maybe five minutes, maybe even less. Before you know it, it's gone. If you want to compare this to the infamous Too Faced lip injection, this is much more comfortable, much more bearable. The Too Faced, it's the same kind of hot burning sensation. But that one was just, it became like a chore. I did try it out a few years ago and I just couldn't, I couldn't handle it. So not worth it, didn't even plump my lips. Hated putting it on, but I felt like I had to for some reason. This is nowhere near like that. As far as the actual plumping action goes, I have said this before, I just don't think a plumping lip gloss is gonna give you any kind of result that you can actually see or measure or anything. If you put on any lip gloss, your lips are gonna look more plump, juicy, filled in, smooth. They're gonna look all around just more voluptuous than without a lip gloss. So so with this being a lip gloss, yes, once I put it on, my lips are gonna look a bit more full, a bit more smooth, but there's no, at least not that I can see, there's no physical lip plumping action going on. Maybe it works for you, but I just have never been able to find a lip plumper that actually does that, that actually plumps lips. So for some people, this might not be worth it. You might reach for a lip gloss that just doesn't burn your lips over one that does. But really, if you like the shade, which is a really beautiful shade, especially nice and bright for summertime, if you like the shade, the tingling is really, compared to some other ones out there, it's very tolerable. It does have the burning, tingling sensation, but it's fairly mild and it goes away within minutes. So I'm gonna keep using this all summer because I like the shade, not because I like the lip plumping aspect that it doesn't give me. Let me know if you have tried this or if you want to try it. I would love to hear it and I will see you later. Bye!